My son was born with a rare disorder in 1990. In 1991, he was diagnosed with Proteus Syndrome, and in 1992, I started the Proteus Syndrome Foundation. When he was first born, he was diagnosed with klippel turnaunay weber syndrome, which is an overgrowth syndrome as well. But I knew that that was not the correct syndrome for some reason in my heart. I just didn't feel it was right. So we kept searching, and when he was almost a year old, we went up to the Children's Hospital in Wisconsin, where we met with the doctor, Nancy Esterly, and she re-diagnosed him with Proteus syndrome. Nancy Esterly gave us um, an article on Proteus syndrome, at least what they thought it was at the time, which while reading through the article I discovered was the same syndrome that the elephant man was diagnosed with. And um, as you can imagine, that scared a parent to death. Proteus syndrome is a ultra rare genetic mutation that happens in um, very young fetal or uh, infant stage. Uh, it causes overgrowth of uh, normal tissue uh, wherever the mutation might occur throughout the body. So typically it manifests itself in uh, feet and legs and or hands uh, especially. My first surgery, I had it whenever I was seven and most kids didn't know how to you know, react to a girl with a big old leg brace who was in a walker. I couldn't use crutches because I didn't have enough balance. And so that was kind of hard. I mean, most kids deal with a bullying in school and it's just kind of like, you, you have to learn to accept yourself and that's something that's probably the hardest thing with Proteus Syndrome because my skin and everything like that, I swam with socks on. Um, I never wanted to show my feet. I never wanted to show my leg. I would always wear pants. And then it just became, a like it just got down to the point in time whenever I was like, look, this ain't changing. When Dr. B. Secker contacted me, his goal was to study Proteus Syndrome, try and find the cause of Proteus Syndrome and work towards correct diagnosis and correct understanding of the syndrome. We lost Alex in 1999 due to complications of this syndrome. Um, I was diagnosed in June of 2012 and the only thing I learned was how rare it was and that um, I had been diagnosed for 12 years with a completely wrong medical condition. The first sample that when they started using the genetic sequencing machine, where they started seeing the mutation in the AKT1 gene, they were using the biopsy from patient number five. Patient number five was my son, Alex. Do his fingers feel any better or can you they tell feel, a difference? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You think so? Yeah. At the time, in the early 90s, we just thought if you would stretch them and if you would continue to straighten out his leg that it would be okay and he would scream in pain, scream in pain. Well, the reason he was screaming in pain was because it wasn't just tendons and stuff, it was bone overgrowing and it was Proteus syndrome attacking him. And what parents know now when their child is born with Proteus syndrome is you don't do any of the things I did to Alex. You do everything differently. So this is um, Alex doing his um, happy dance. He would keep rhythm with this as well as this <laughs> and he had a stereo right here so he was kind of the disc jockey for the house and yeah he would turn it up really loud and dance <laughs> and that was his favorite thing in the world to do as he grew they became you know us misunderstanding the syndrome so we tried to fix him in ways that weren't fixable but um and then over the course of the years his needs became something like you know, he wanted to hide his hand because he might be embarrassed by things that he didn't used to be embarrassed by. And so his needs became a little bit more personal as far as being, you know, things like, like he started to notice that he was different from people. So I had to, um, you know, we just worked through it. Uh, but his, you know, wheelchairs, all that fun stuff. He had to deal with his brothers. <laughs> How old are you, Alex? Yeah, Who's the best mommy in the world? You! Woohoo! The drug that is in the clinical trials for Proteus Syndrome is also in clinical trials for certain types of cancer. And hopefully the drug will stop the mutation in both cancer and in Proteus Syndrome. The money that we raise is going to go towards a documentary on Proteus Syndrome to help raise awareness for the disease and to get more people throughout the world help when they need it. 
And as always, our, our mission is to help individual families. I agreed to be part of the trial because I want to do anything I can to help advance the research on Proteus Syndrome. I'm one of the oldest known people alive with the condition. I know the pain and suffering that these children are dealing with, and I want to help find a cure for that.